Shady Sclever here from Defy and this is SE Path 3 which we decided to make a full runoff because it goes pretty quick too. Uh, this is probably a record but we did a big mistake, I will show you that later. We probably lost like 30 seconds only there and also at the end boss it went really slow. But yeah, let's just show you how we do it. So. We're not killing anything before we reach this boss and this boss gives a lot of bleeding each time he hits he will give you guys five bleeding so what you want to do is have a lot of condition removal the guardian starts off with his and when he doesn't have any more then the mesmer will put out null field and uh, I have uh, also shake it off ready if I need that uh, yeah, in the beginning when we ran, when you're passing that wall, they might give you the first mobs there, they might give you uh, cripple, so I'm using shake it off there as well. Now, when we're passing this bridge, the guardian comes out of picture, but he will put out the wall in around the middle of that bridge, and we can just run straight up here. And we're gonna aggro these these mobs here by the boss, but they're pretty easy to kill, so that's what we're gonna do now. Unfortunately, the boss didn't get pulled, so we just have to go to him, so there's a few seconds you can gain as well. And he puts these circles around you, it's not that difficult. And you can just use condition removal to get uh, get them away, or you have to ju jump up the fountain there, and you can remove those circles there as well. So done with that, just run straight into the wagon, and we're gonna keep hitting it on one side. And here it's really important if you're gonna melee it it's really important that you have uh, reflection so the guardian both use the shield of a vengeance he starts off with that he also has wall we have the mesmer's curtain and uh, feedback so we're pretty set with the reflection and the mobs will just get cleaved while we're standing here hitting uh, if we have to we're gonna just move a little bit step here instead and to get away from a few mobs and just uh, get them stacked up again. So what we notice now, one thing that I didn't know, that if you kill all the mobs this cart is gonna bury himself down and you see we can't hit it so we lose a lot of time on this. And yeah that's probably around 30 seconds loss just for that so what you would do then is uh, the guardian will most likely have the aggro if it just pulls pull away the last two or three mobs then you can just finish it she finish it off before killing those mobs so this is done under six minutes but yeah as you see this so there we lost a lot of a lot of time so here we have two champions we're gonna run straight past them most people they tend to go just all the way to the left and further down to just have the the champ one of the champions pulled but uh, you can stand here in line of sight and you should use reflection and condition removal and cleave them all yeah also reflection can be good there so as soon as he's dead we can aggro the boss and we're gonna put 
a curtain up and try to pull him behind the stairs so we can just fight him on the wall but sometimes yeah he stands pretty good here anyway so and he puts out these burning fields around we have condition removal for that but they don't hurt too much uh, the most annoying thing is he's uh, knockback so our guardian tries to use the ability whenever he can else you just have to take that yeah we could have had a better place placement for this boss and also a bit better rotation but we didn't went for a record run we just wanted to show you how fast this can go too so that's about it i see you in cough the next time so take care till i see them